Hail Pandawans and journeymen walking that illustrated path. Welcome to another edition of Sunrise with Samwise. Basically, these are just early morning recordings because I get up at the, I almost said butt crack of dawn. Let's keep it PG, Diddy A. At the uh, bum crap. <laughs> I said bum crap. <laughs> ah, butt crack of dawn. You're all adults, right? Yeah, I get up early, and uh, normally, you know, I've always had this sort of, uh, I don't know, adverse, not adversity, adverse reaction to warm-up sketches, never been into that, so I basically today thought I would try that, where I just sit down, and instead of working on art that I have to work on and get done, I'm going to sit around and fiddle F around doing acts of randomity of just various shapes, turning them into monster heads and all that. You know, not thinking out about what they're going to do or what they're going to be or if there's any other purpose for them other than to waste my time from getting to real work. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I just kind of go in here to the sort of standard stuff I do. I guess it's like a warm-up, you know, you're doing something that you normally do, but you're, whether it's working out, you're doing it with lighter weights or, you know, you know, stuff like that. You're doing stretching, whatever. I guess this is stretching. It's not stretching much because I'm not really doing anything I don't normally do. Now, maybe that's my fault. I should be thinking of what I could do for some warm-up sketches, like, you know, pick a a bunch of random topics and you know just come you know get one of those word generators where it says ant warrior ballerina character okay let's try something like that and obviously it doesn't have to be an ant and a tutu and all that it can be maybe like a a live and uh flowing sort of dancing ant warrior or something like that is it you know anthropomorphic or is it anthropomorphic <laughs> um yeah, so and this guy here that I'm working on, this is the biggest phoned-in piece of poop I've done in a while. That's not true. I've done lots of crappy stuff recently. Uh, but this one, I, I just had no idea of what I was doing. Is it a dwarf? No. Is it an orc? No. What is it? Uh, does he have long hair? No. Does he have a long beard? No. It's she's just like a yep, nope, and everything. You got long hair? Yep. Nope. Kind of like that guy from Creed, Scott State. Uh, he had that kind of yep, nope, half long, half short hair. He looked cool, though. So this is the one that I kind of thought I, 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 when I first was thinking about doing something like this, I'm like, well, I want to do like some little kind of impish type dude. But instead of, you know, a, a beard and ponytail, maybe he's got a little beard that's fiery and a little ponytail that's fiery. So, I mean, it wasn't anything that hasn't been done before. But in all honesty, most of the artwork that we do has been done before by people better and by people worse than us. So we're just uh, recreating something that might have been done before, but in our own way. And that's all you really want to do as an artist. You don't have to worry about being necessarily the, the first or the original, though it's nice if you are. But just taking something that you like, not this guy. This guy's awful. Um, and I choose later on, because you know I'm doing a speed recording of this, I choose the worst color for him too. Just a complete and utter botched throwaway character um, that I'll have to see if I can figure out and turn into something cool, but I doubt it. He's, he's doomed from the start. Oh, look, he's got a pointy ear now. Now he's unique. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you can do artwork that's maybe, you know, I, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of doing fan art, but if you've got something that, you know, you love Spider-Man and you want to do your own version of it, cool. But remember, you're never going to get necessarily to the places you want to go if you're just drawing you know other people's creations all the time now that's not true you can but i believe that to be an artist uh, you know we don't want to be living in other people's worlds we don't want to be a moon to the sun right why be a thief of light when you can be the sun burning and glorious see i'm still in that valhallentine's day mode <laughs> speaking of valhallentine's day did you guys uh try that with your sweeties and Instead of spending money on restaurants and all that, just bring home a giant leg of beast and roast it over the open fire and 
drink copious amounts of mead or miod as they call it or ale or soda pop whatever you uh you all are into did you try that how'd that go over how'd, how'd that go over not buying presents for anyone <laughs> i know for some of you it was probably fine but for the other half they got pissed <laughs> so this was the character i kind of liked uh, the most out of all of them even his color scheme when i get to it again nothing nothing groundbreaking but just a fun little character a little devilish look for a little devilish character um so I'll, you know that's what i'll do when i do some more sunrise with samwise which will be like kind of my equivalent of morning warm-up sketches i still don't believe in that just get to work on what you got to do people stop farting around and fiddle effing around on artwork that you know doesn't necessarily lead to anything other than oh no i'm warmed up come on this isn't like working out. This isn't like running a marathon. You're just sitting there drawing. That sounded kind of mean. So, well, if you guys want to do it, go for it. I think that if you're going to spend, like I spent like 30 or 40 minutes on this, um, I could have spent that on something that I needed to get done or wanted to get done. I didn't necessarily want to do this, but I, you know, to, to grow as an artist, you must force yourself to do things you don't normally do. So I did. I, uh, did a warm-up sketch now the content is stuff I normally do <laughs> and maybe that's why I don't like it as much because it's not uh, there's not a lot of effort put into it and I could have been doing God ah, just bitch and whine see this is what happens when you wake up at the crack of dawn and you gotta busy yourself waking the crows waking the roosters all that kind of stuff uh, you know no early morning uh, coffee yet because we want to just keep this flowing um, that's one thing too I always laugh about you know a lot of people's uh what do you call it social media sites they're always like touting coffee and oh I can't do anything without my coffee and this and that or coffee's life it's like all right I'm glad you're into it but come on guys it's just coffee now that's gonna piss a lot of you off that's fine we imagine the old days if uh you were a, a, a viking on a warship or a long ship or you know the you know some kind of conquering army it's like wait 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 what's the matter sir the troops haven't had their coffee yet they will be erect today <laughs> not erect now hey come on people <laughs> i guess i walked into that one myself see that's what happens when you have no coffee i guess <laughs> yeah anyways so I'll, I'll come up with some and maybe i'll if i remember i'll mention it uh during the the next sunrise with samwise what the topic is that i chose or maybe, you know, in the comments you can send in some. Okay, here we go. Worst colors in the world. Worst colors. Oh, boy. Why did I choose pink? Why did I choose fuchsia or mauve? Whatever it is. It's not really... If it was, like, hot pink, at least that's making a statement. You know, it's, like, bright and, you know, awesome 80s. This one's just, like, a... He didn't even know what color he, he uh, wanted for his highlights and stuff like that. It's just a, a faded grayish pink on a grayish background <laughs> sorry buddy we're gonna redeem you somehow all right that's it panda wands cheers and beers abc always be creating hail <laughs>